All right, hello everyone. How's everybody doing today? So it's now that we have finished reading the book, If Bill Street Could Talk, and we just finished watching the film In the Heat of the, Mo in the, heat of the Night. Today I'm going to be go going over the key points that I feel we should all, we should have all have gotten from the two. So first let me do a Venn diagram. And I'm going, we're going to be comparing and contrasting the two, the book and the film. Okay. So we'll do four points for each and in the middle, of course, we'll have the, what was similar. So first, if Bill Street could talk, one of the main things that we can put right away was it was a love story. Well, on the other hand, in the heat of the night, it was more of an investigation. Now in the middle, one thing for sure that covers both topics is going to be the topic of racism. And then while we go back to if Bill Street could talk, we're going to have more family involved. <clears throat> In the heat of the night, is dealing with a murder case. And then if Bill Street could talk, it is a rape. Rape is in, a rape case is involved. In the middle, we can say that the time frame of the two is going to be somewhat related because if, if Bill Street could talk, it was in the late 1960s and in the heat of the night, it's going to be in the early 1970s. So we'll put time frame. Mm. If Bill Street could talk, we notice more of a poverty stricken environment, poverty. And in the heat of the night, you know, it deals more with a traveler from out of town. And also it has to do with a friendship that we will discuss in a bit. So we can put friendship. <clears throat> now for the last one in the middle, what we see in both of them, and again, is one of the main topics is going to be <clears throat> a poor criminal justice system. So here we have it, we have it right here. So in the Bill Street could talk, it deals with the main characters of Fani and Tish. In a love story where Fani is going to end up getting arrested due to a poor criminal justice system. We know that it involves a rape case that he was wrongly accused of. Then with poverty, you're going to see it with the family doing whatever it takes to try to help Fani get out of prison and that later involves stealing. While in the heat of the night is more of an investigation of a murder, a traveler of Mr. Tibbs, an African-American man, and it's going to deal with the friendship of him and the sheriff, sheriff of the town, Mr. Gillespie. And so again, we, the main concept here is racism. So right here we have the two. And this will be the first, first little, um, what should I say? First little look at comparing the two. Let me go ahead and erase this. All right. So for the next activity, I want to look at the topics of prejudice and discrimination <clears throat> and how these how these two topics correlate into our film and both into the, move, the film and the book so first let's talk about if Bill Street could talk <clears throat> so first prejudice we know it's more of like the attitude the thinking that we have towards another 
or discrimination is actually going to the action put into place coming from prejudice. So for the first example I want to go over is in if Bill Street could talk. <clears throat> so in the Bill Street could talk, one thing is we know that the white cop that was involved, he was embarrassed. <clears throat> he was embarrassed by the lack of respect by the lack of respect that was given to him by Fani in the incident involving the intoxicated white man and Tish at the store <clears throat> and where the convenient convenience store worker actually defended Fani and pretty much made the cop look like he didn't know what he was doing. So what, it, what this leads to is going to be later on, the cop takes advantage and places Fani as the main suspect of the crime scene, which is going to involve the lady getting raped, when in reality, Fani was nowhere, nowhere near the incident, but he was the only African-American man, African-American man that was in the list of suspects, and the girl knew that it, it was an African-American man, so she just, kind of for herself to it past her she just said okay funny was the one <clears throat> so we'll put funny the rape crime so that's the first thing another thing we can say from a bill streak of talk was the court system being against funny and you know the minority group so So what this leads to, what we can say from this, is you know the pro the price for Bonnie's bell was ridiculously high. Even the lawyer said like it's it was just out of proportion. So the bell bondage. was crazy high and it was so high which actually leads to you know the family having to steal in order to help raise the funds to get Fani out of jail so it leads to the family stealing so these are two examples we can use for prejudice and discrimination <clears throat> now for in the heat of the night Okay, so now for the heat of the night, the first example we have is, you know, the crime scene. So, so it's a white majority town to start off. A white majority town, you know, taking the setting is in 1970, so the racism is still very much around. And, you know, what happens is we know that they find a dead body. find a dead body <clears throat> and they start looking for the suspect for looking for the suspect so this is going to lead to mr. Tibbs who's african-american he's actually a detective he's in town waiting for a train to go back home well unfortunate for him the deputy looking for the suspect walks into the train station and he sees mr. Tibbs and automatically assumes he was a suspect so we can lead this to discrimination. So Mr. Tibbs. So Mr. Tri Mr. Tibbs waiting for the train when he is stopped as a main suspect. And the thing is, he wasn't even asked, okay, who are you? What are you doing here? He was just automatically taken in taken in and suspected he was involved in the murder another example that we can see is when they start to go question who might be the um who might be involved in the murder they go to a rich man named mr Ennick, mr 
and then color <clears throat> you know and he's talking with Mr. Tiz about his plants and you know you can start to see the metaphors he's using when he starts talking about the plants and he starts making reference to the plant with the African Americans or the colored people <clears throat> so here we get an idea of his mindset, but then we start to see the discrimination come into play when, you know, Mr. Tibbs Mr. Tibbs is actually slapped by Mr. Endicott for a comment that he makes. So Mr. Tibbs is slapped by Endicott. However, Mr. Tibbs returns the slap back to Mr. Endicott. So once he returns the slap, Mr. Endicott makes a comment of back in, you know, if, if time was a little bit more back, he would have had him shot on the spot. And so this just tells you the kind of mindset Mr. Endicott has, the type of environment that they're around. And we can see how prejudice and discrimination come into play in both of these film and the book. So let me erase this. Now the last thing that I wanna go over is going to be how does racism affect the outcome of the text and the film? So racism, again, is a main topic. So how does racism affect the outcome of film and the book? So first let's talk about in If Bill Street Could Talk, So in If Bill Street Could Talk, what do we see? We have a white cop, Pofani, as a lead suspect, as a lead suspect for rape due to feeling disrespected at an incident involving Fani, Tish, and, an, and a white intoxicated man, which we've gone over before. So if Bill Street Could Talk, you know, we have the cop, racist, you know, puts Fani in jail. Puts Fani in jail for a crime he did not commit or was nowhere near. Also, the whole time, Tish is pregnant. So, you know, it, the story is going back and forth between Fani in prison and Tish and her family <clears throat> trying to do whatever they can to get Fani out. So just with that little, how does racism affect this? The white cop being racist turned everything around and placed it on Fani. And pretty much, he lost, when Fani was in jail, he lost all hope. The only thing that was keeping them, you know, going was the fact that Tish was pregnant and she was going to have the baby. And so, you know, he spends most of the time behind bars. What puts, what leads to, what this little incident leads to is just a mess of things because we're going, as we know, the family's going to start stealing and then Fani's family, and his mother and his sister's don't support him. Actually, they want to testify to help against him while the father joins Tish's family in trying to help raise money, which he ends up leading to stealing. And the father is going to get caught by his boss and ends up committing suicide. So that's a big thing that's going to happen out of one incident and all because of racism. In the heat of the night, in the heat of the night, you know, from the beginning, we see the murder incident. Everything seems like it's a normal town. But then the murder, a uh, dead body is found, which actually leads to the Mr. Tibbs in the train station take, getting taken in for custody over he doesn't know what's going on at all. But he does play it cool. You know, he's not freaking out or anything. He knows what he is. He knows he's a detective. So the cop, first of all, sees Mr. Tibbs. He's an African-American man. You know, there's a murder scene, he takes him in, brings him into custody. His chief asked him, did you question him? He says, no, he just brought him in. So that's on the, that's starting off the, the movie, as we know. 
you know, but as the movie goes on, Tibbs continues to prove he is who he is for a reason. And he's actually one of the best detectives there is and where he's from. And so the, the main friendship here is going to be Mr. Tibbs. And the police officer, the police chief, Mr. Gillespie. So in the beginning, as we saw, the chief is really against, he doesn't want Mr. Tibbs involved. He doesn't want to work with him. You know, he doesn't think he's capable of being better than him at what he does. But as the movie goes on, he starts to see, okay, the respect is there. He starts to grow respect. And eventually they end up working together and solving the murder case. And so the heat of the night does deal with the racism, but at the end it kind of has a more soft, heartwarming feeling. You know, when Mr. Tibbs is leaving the train station and Mr. Gillespie walks him out and tells him, you know, take care of yourself, you start to see how hearts can change. On, on the other hand, if Bill Street could talk, you know, racism messes up the whole story. Although it is a love story, it is kind of a tragic love story involving murder, involving rape, suicide. But in the end, racism does a play. Racism does have a does play effect in both the film and the book. And so these are some of the topics that I wanted to make sure that we went over and that we, everybody was able to grasp from the two. And so, thank you for hearing me out today. I hope everybody enjoyed the presentation. Thank you.